What's up guys, Nate here from Chunky Tech, and man, it has been so long, so long since I last did a video, and you know what, it sucks. So I thought, I'm going to do one today, and I'm going to do something a little bit different. I just want to start off by saying a massive, massive thank you to everybody that subscribed to the channel. We're now over a thousand subs, which I never in a million years thought we were going to do. Um, so that's really, really great news, and thank you again to everybody that's subbed to the channel. Probably all thinking, where the hell have I been for the last month? Well, quite honestly, life has taken over. Uh, I've just got busy doing other things, and unfortunately, um, not had time to concentrate on, on any of the video stuff that I wanted to do. But it's not all bad news, because last night I realised this, and recently I've been watching a lot of uh, Peter McKinnon videos. Uh, if you, for whatever reason, have stumbled across my channel and haven't seen his stuff, um, you seriously need to go and watch it because the guy is phenomenal. Photography, videography, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, if you're interested in any of that, you've got to watch his videos. I'll put a link in the description. So if you want to go and check that out, I highly, highly recommend it. You know, a lot of the stuff that he sort of talks about on his channel is trying to be the best that you can be with the equipment that you've got, just throwing your work out there so that people can actually see it. And, you know, it got me thinking because I've done quite a bit of video work now, for whether it be for, for other companies or just for myself, for fun, or for friends and family. And, you know, a lot of it's not really out there under my name. So that got me thinking. And what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start uploading to my own personal channel um, just content that I just want to film or even stuff that I've done in the past. Um, just so that I can get it out there because you know, that's the whole point of, of making videos is so that you know to so that other people can enjoy them and, and see what you, you're capable of doing. So that's what I'm going to do. Today what I wanted to do was a what gear do you use video. So I recently won a £250 Amazon voucher. Yeah, pretty cool. I know. And I ended up buying some more camera gear and it finally occurred to me, wow, I've got quite a lot of gear. So today, I'm going to do a What Gear Do You Use video. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, first up is the Glidecam. This was bought off a recommendation uh, from the Andy Axe YouTube channel. I think that's how you pronounce it. The idea being that you level it out with the weights uh, while you've got your camera on the top, and then you can get nice uh, smooth motions uh, on your camera. Uh, I've not used it that much, uh, mainly because I'm not very good at it. Uh, I've tried it a couple of times, uh, but it's not really for me. Although it was cheap, it was about 30 or 40 quid, and it's, um, it's a nice addition to, uh, to the gear. Next up is my new camera cage, uh, and this is the Viltrox VX11. Uh, I bought this very recently, um, and it was mainly just so that I could have some sort of a handle for the GH4. As you know, the GH4 has not got a handle on the top like a lot of professional video uh, recorders. Uh, so yeah, this just helped with that, and it's obviously got plenty of, of, of screw holes for adding extras on. Uh, which I will be doing. I'll be adding a, a monitor on it, onto it at some point. And you've obviously got the, the shoe mounts here for putting uh, microphones or whatever else it is that you want on it. Following on from that is the shoulder rig. And that's what we've got here. This is the Niwa shoulder rig. Um, and this was bought from Amazon. I'll put all the links in, in the description below for everything. Um, again, this is similar to the, to the cage, except it's uh, used, you know, first shoulder mounting. I've used this all over the place on loads and loads of different jobs. Really good piece of kit, works really, really well, and I highly recommend something like this in your toolbox. If you're looking for something just to mount your camera on for doing nice low shots, things like that, um, something like this would be perfect for it. Moving on to lights now, I've got a couple of light stands. Uh, I think I've got three or four of these. Nothing special, but these just came with the lights that I've actually got. Always worth having though, because you know you can screw um, pretty much anything onto the end of here. Or, or if you've got some tape, you can always tape stuff to it. So yeah, having plenty of these is always worth, uh, worth keeping on you. The Aperture LED light, I love this thing. Again, this was a recommendation from the Andy Axe uh, YouTube channel. This is a pretty expensive light, uh, LED light, uh, but it is well worth the purchase. It comes with two big batteries, 
Uh, so it can run off battery power or it can run straight off your, your main electricity. I have my studio lights. So these are the big ass lights that you see that have got five or more bulbs in them sometimes. Um, these are absolutely great. Uh, I use these on a regular basis. I use to uh, light the set when I'm doing any of the Chunky Tech stuff. I have here my Andoa um, mini LED light. Again, this similar to the um, to the Aperture one. This just sits on top of top of a camera or top of a cage, uh, whatever you want to connect it to. It's got the hot shoe mount there. Uh, runs off battery, or you can actually fit a lot of uh, AA batteries in there as well. So uh, very very good light, worth having. I've got here my Niwa reflector. Pops up. It's got a couple of different sides on it. Um, you know, you can zip them off, different colours, it's got the silver, it's got the white, and I think there's a yellow one on there, I can't quite remember. Um, but again, that's nice and small, nice and compact, always worth keeping on you, never know when you might need to reflect light. Slider bar. Uh, don't know what make it is, it's just some cheap camera slider that I bought from Amazon. Um, I then decided to put a Manfrotto 500 fluid head on it and I think it works really, really well. While we're on sliders, here's my new one that I bought. This one is a carbon fiber uh, Niwa. So this one's a bit longer, it's actually a meter in length. Um, and it's also got these retractable feet here which can be moved up and down on whatever else you want to do with them really. Moving on to tripods, I have got the Gorilla Joby pod. I mean, this thing is awesome. Uh, again, bought it off Amazon. Tiny little thing, perfect for vlogging. I actually took it away to Poland with me when I did the Poland vlog, and that worked out really, really well. It's got a little quick release plate here, um, which is nice and handy. Good for doing uh, interviews, things like that, where you wanna just stick it on the table, uh, or it's great for wrapping around objects, if you wanna wrap it around a tree or something. It's uh, always good for getting your camera, or even lights. You know, I've, I've used the aperture light on this before to get it into awkward places. It's a really, really handy thing to have, uh, and not that expensive, so I definitely recommend buying something like this. This here is my brand new monopod. Uh, this is the Manfrotto MV MX Pro 500, uh, which I think is their latest model. I've not actually had a chance to use it yet, um, but I mainly bought it for doing weddings and things like that, although I'm sure it'll come in handy for loads and loads of other things. My other tripod, which actually you can't see because I'm using, is the Manfrotto, uh, I think it's the 190. Uh, it's the carbon fiber one, and I put on there a, another 500 fluid head, and that's what I use to film um, almost, you know, all the time. I have here another tripod, uh, which is just a cheaper one that I bought a while ago. This thing's quite handy just because of how small it goes. Um, you never know when you might need something smaller. The one thing I did actually like about this was you can screw this leg off here and it turns into uh, a monopod, which I actually used to film a wedding uh, once, which uh, worked out pretty well. Onto lenses now. Uh, the lens that I've got here is the Canon 10 to 18 mm uh, and this was bought specifically for doing the vlogs. Uh, and just wide angle work really, because I didn't have a wide angle lens at the time when I first started. Um, something that I bought recently and uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice little lens and it's definitely worth having something like this, you know, a, a 10 to 18 or even something a bit smaller, maybe to a 16. Uh, it's always worth having something like that in your arsenal. The Canon 50mm, uh, 1.8. This is a, a great lens, you know, never really had any problems with it. Um, nice for getting those tight shots when you can't really get in there. Um, always worth having a 50mm, I think, in, in your arsenal. And the third and final lens that I've got is the Sigma 18 to 35, which is on the camera at the moment. By far the best, best lens I've ever used. I literally love this lens. ND filters, variable. Got to get those variable ones in there. So much better than the static ones. Uh, again, just an ND filter for each lens, basically. One of my first purchases, the Rode SmartLav Plus. Uh, that is actually what I'm recording on now, and that is plugged into the Zoom H5, which I've got. I'm gonna actually purchase a couple of H1s based on uh, Craig Adams' recommendation on his page. 
for wedding film school. H5 is great. It's got the XLR inputs, but it's just a little bit too big for, uh, to, you know, to ask a groom to put into his pocket or something along those lines. It's uh, just a little bit, little bit big for that. Various attachments for the H5. V-shaped hot shoe mount. Never know when you might need one of them. I thought these were worth mentioning. These are quick release plates that I bought recently on Amazon. Once you've put the base plate this one here onto your tripod or monopod. Uh, you just press this button and the plate slides out. And then when you're ready to put it back on, you just slide it on and it locks into place. And then you just, job done. When you finish with it again, just take it straight off. Much, much easier. One of the most time consuming things is moving cameras onto new uh, monopods or tripods. So that's really gonna help with that. Highly recommend those. Probably one of the best things I ever bought was this here. Uh, this is the, uh, I don't even know what you call it, but it's basically for setting up the um, white balance on your camera. With me using a DSLR, uh, I can't shoot in RAW, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, so this thing comes in really handy for making sure I've got the white balance just right, uh, which I definitely know I haven't at the moment. I've got this here which is my booth for uh, recording audio. This thing's really, really good for doing voiceovers and things like that. At the moment, I've got it on a stand, but you, you don't have to have it on a stand. You can sit straight on the desk. I've got the green screen there. Uh, you never know when you might need a bit of green screen. So it's always handy to have something like that. Uh, yeah, for carrying everything in. Got this big ass bag. Um, you never know when you might need to do uh, go out on, on site and, and take a lot of stuff with you. So it's always handy to have a big bag to put it all in. The place is an absolute mess at the moment because I'm moving out. Um, I'm actually packing everything up as we speak. So yeah. So there you have it. That is all the gear that I use for any of my video projects and for, for running the running the channel. This is in no way a paid for uh, video. You know, I've not been asked to do this by anybody. This is just gear that I've bought and accumulated over the last year and a half. There are links in the video description to each individual item. If you do decide to purchase it from any of those links, I do get a small kickback. It just goes towards helping uh, run the channel and purchase new gear, basically. So, um, you know, feel free to, uh, to take a look at those. Um, we are gonna be moving studio, so I might do some sort of a, a moving video or vlog style video on that. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.